Hello and welcome to what I am officially dubbing as uh, Weeb Wednesday. <laughs> oh, let's jump right in. Can't tell if I muted my microphone or turned it all the way up. I had muted it. Okay. Now this world. Oh, uh, nope. English voice acting. No, thank you. Disagree. Oh, I really like this game, but at the same time. I'm not looking forward to these trophies. Alright, so real quick, before we even start, let's look at these ones. They are uh, excessively more difficult than the last one. Alright, clear all the chapters, obviously. Use members of Naruto's generations, yeah. Uh, you can use blah 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 blah, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Um, you acquired S rank and all the different missions. Uh, some side quest stuff, cool, cool, cool. That's a collectible, 10 trials. Quests, all the correspondence, friendship, all events. You picked up over 500 items, save it. Storm points, all battle items, all collections. Gained, hit, acquired all goddamn titles. Fuck this trophy. This trophy's bullshit. It's one of those things where, um, it's a platinum stopper, is what it is. You'll get every other trophy except that one. Um, and it is. Specifically because, uh, like, even this, I don't mind as much. Like, 10 matches online ranked, uh, that's that's just within my, like, realm of, like, fine. Because I don't like playing on, uh, online. What they don't tell you is that one of the titles is for winning 50 online matches, so you have to do that anyway. And then there's a title for playing as each character 30 times, which is, like, fuck all of the characters. There's, like, 30-something characters. It's a ridiculous amount of matches, and fuck this trophy list. I got it on PS3 after like seven or eight years. And I'll eventually have to do it on this one too. And I don't want to. Oh no, I meant to. Hold on. I don't normally close out the game, but I absolutely have to. Because I do not want... It's me, Naruto! Uh, shout out to CyberConnect though. I'm actually a huge fan of these games, uh, the arena ga the arena style fighting. This one I think starts off a little bit faster than Ultimate Storm, which I'm not sure if I want to go back to. I'll play it in my own time, I don't know if I'm going to do another video in Ultimate Storm. Now that it's a bad game, uh, it's just a bit slow to begin. When you get into some of the fights, they're really good. Oh. They, um, they introduce the, like, big boss fights, and then... What, I, like, what I'll say about this game is not only do I think it covers the best part of the anime, um, it also has the best, um, or it also, like, learned all of the good from the first game. It kept that, and all of, the, like, the bad it got rid of, which I'm a big fan. Alright, attack is now X. Man. Okay, that's good. Uh, voice settings. Japanese, please. I think, um, Eniac asked, so... I think his question was, if... There we go. Yeah, there we go. His question was, so if every voice actor was English except Naruto was Japanese, would that be perfect? And I was like, yeah, be pretty good. Like, the Japanese voice acting besides Naruto is very good, but it's just uh, English Naruto that I can't stand. Also, shout out to Bandai Namco, who will most certainly ban this, because they'll be like, this is fucking our... This is our fucking footage. You can't use this, even though it's in the game. Bandai's not that bad about it. It'll maybe happen like 10% of the time. Easily the worst is Capcom. Capcom flags Let's Plays like about half the time. And it's kind of annoying. Shout out to Dave Wittenberg. Also, I didn't know Troy Baker did Yamato. Because I've just, I, I'd stopped listening to English by then. Um, I don't recognize any of these. Brian Donovan sounds familiar. Sakura, I don't really serve any point in the series Haruna. Sakura, Kishimoto can't write women, Haruno. Sakura, I barely did anything in the original Naruto, so when I fight in the games, 
I don't have any. <laughs> I don't really have any moves. My special moves all involve special attacks for my weird inner voice. I wonder if they're going to spoil it right here. Troy Baker does pain too. Stuck. This was a. Uh, as much as I do like that fight, that was a bad step for the plot. Because, um. That was the point where they were just like, all right, well, you know, Naruto will just get a new power up for every fucking major fight, and then we'll just keep doing that until the end of the series. The narrator for the Naruto games is pretty good, too. I think it's the same voice as the third Okage. But um, it's nowhere near as good as the narrator for the One Piece anything. That dude's voice is amazing. Jiraiya's voice is pretty good too. I can't remember. I think the voice actor might have died who did Jiraiya. I'm gonna look it up. Jiraiya voice actor Japanese. I know he voiced a... I've heard his voice a bunch of times. Oh no, he's still he's still alive and kicking. He's only sixty four years old. All right, cool. Hochu Otsuka, if anyone's curious, um, he uh, he voiced the villain in season two or three, depending on how you count it, of Full Metal Panic. Like, I think this game just looks a lot prettier than Ultimate Ninja. Like, there's more color to it, and also like the town feels more alive. Like, there's a lot more fucking people in it. Like, you don't get to explore the, the city fully, but I also feel like you don't need to. It's fun, it's a cool mechanic, but it's not, like, essential to the game or anything. Gotta go get fucking ramen. Oh, never mind. Rip anyone who shipped Sakura and Naruto. I don't know what to tell you, your ship is wrong. And by wrong, I mean my, the author's eyes. I was, I was a hardcore... Uh, Sakura and Naruto. Supporter. I think Hinata is even worse written than Sakura. And. <sighs> all my dreams are smashed. <laughs> uh, I think this is a. Uh, I think this is a tutorial thing. Um. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I believe this is just takes you through, through the town a bit, and then eventually it leads to a fight with Kakashi, which I think is part of the prologue. God, this game's so fucking good. I hate that it has such a hawk, such a horrendous trophy. I would love to platinum this game again. Why don't we head to the mansion, check out the vicinity on our way. Oh, maps. Maps are things. Thank you. Saving. Tutorials. Alright, we're done here. Uh, you rarely will need to save, because it saves all the fucking time. Um, I don't think any anything's been introduced, so there's no point in me going anywhere. Because, um, like, it's just gonna, like, there's nothing's unlocked, so I might as well just go straight to the objectives. Oh, that's right, birdhouses are the saving points. This does kind of have that, like, cartoon feel where it's like, Certain things are animated and certain things aren't, so you can kind of tell what's uh, what's interactable. I know you should try and destroy signposts and stuff because they can obtain pachinko balls um, or just different cans like that that are worth money. But there's also like a uh, yeah pachinko ball. There's also a uh, there's a title for finding like the super pachinko ball or whatever it is. Uh, and there's just like a random chance to find it in one of these. So even as I say I don't want to get the Platinum, I'll still sort of aim for it. The biggest obstacle for me, it's not even the 50 online wins. Because this game probably has a fair amount of um, an online presence now. Now that it came back on PS4. The PS3 one was super dead. The only people playing that were fucking experts of the game. It was bullshit because I couldn't do anything. Um, but, uh, but there's... The one that blocks me the most is play a match with 
uh, or play 30 matches with each character. You can kind of cheese it because you can do two controllers, so you can A, either unlock two people at once, or B, unlock a character twice as fast and get 15 and 15 on player one and two. But it's just so fucking long and boring. And I don't enjoy it. But, uh, that's the only drag to this game. <sighs> um, hey, I know that guy. Uh, look at this. Look at this reunion. Imagine being Sakura and just fucking staying in the village while Sasuke is fucking blowing a snake man and Naruto's off training with a fucking legendary pervert. Okay, so I think there's two battles. I think there's a regular battle, then I think there's a climactic battle, which is aka a boss battle. Um, I believe... I think this game is more well organized too. It's not just like, hey, go eventually do a mission. Like they actually give you objectives, which I appreciate. Also, you can tell how many times I've played this game because of how like I'm on autopilot and I'm still collecting materials. <laughs> it's just I can't help it. But yeah, I'm digging it's just it's simple, but I'm digging like the arrow to just like tell you where to go and shit. It's just it's it's very simple, but it's effective and I appreciate it. Not to say I need my hand held every step of the way, but it's just like... I like the... I like not really having to wander around. I will say, the one thing we've missed is we missed the Zabuza stuff, and a couple other good arcs from the original. Maybe I'll go back to it and just do like parts of it? I don't know. Maybe I'll switch back and forth. Maybe I'll play 3 so I can finally just get through it. So like I said, I'm not a huge fan of uh, 3's plot lines. So... I don't really care too much about it, but I'd, be, I'd you know, I'd still be interested in playing it just because I mean, the game's still fun. Like I played Generations, and that one was just ugh, very long. Memory Crystal. I believe these uh, these are how you re rewatch cutscenes. I think grabbing all of them um, is a trophy. You know, fired up. Hang on a minute. You gotta fight me because. We need to pad out this chapter. I'm skipping through things, but it's just because I've been seeing a lot. Plus, the stakes aren't very high right now. She's like, hey, Naruto's back. And everyone's like, oh, Naruto, it's been so long. Oh. Unable to awaken. This is more bullshit that I hate about these uh, these games. Um, which is they just never let Naruto awaken. And he's the main character. I love it. Oh, yeah, I don't like this special move, actually. Um, I will say, the fighting in this is a lot more crisp than the other one. I think I don't think they have the um, the substitution jutsu meter yet. Basically, you can only... Actually, I think they do. I think you can only substitute every so often. So this is a special move. It's like a... It's a Rasengan. Can I... How do I... There we go. I guess there is no limit. I guess you just need, like, a certain amount of chakra to do it. Eventually, they put in a meter where you can only do that up to four times. Yeah, so this is the special move. It's it's cool once, but he ha it's quick, and it's not that, like, impressive. And he has it for, like, his entire fucking, like, or for most of his campaign for a while. So I just don't like it that much. It's a cool move, again, once. You're goddamn ready, I ranked that. I'm a fucking warrior. So there's no trophy for it, um, but like I said, there's titles. I want to say there's like 374 titles. Actually, I want to look that up. If I got that number exactly right, that should show you exactly how fucking much PTSD I have from this. Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 2 titles. Title list. Titles glitch. Excuse you? Title trophy glitch? Oh, no, that's, that's different. I was like, is there a way to cheat this? No. Title Listo. A list of all titles. Did I type this wrong? It's an IGN. Oh, it's not it's it's someone asking for a list. Come on, Google, you're better than this. Uh let me go to Pro PSN profiles, they probably have one. 
knowing this knowing this website. Ninja, Ninja Storm 2. It took me six years and nine months to platinum this. A fucking course it did. Uh, is it? It should be down near the bottom. Uh, which name shall I use? The name of the trophy. I'm trying to see if there's a guide for it. Nope. Cool. Um, it's weird. There's a lot of people on PS3 who have the who have the platinum for this. Like this isn't actually a rare um, platinum, which is ridiculous. It's it's it basically means the people who played this game played the fuck out of it, uh, which is a good thing. But also, fuck. I wish it was like worth more. Titles list. I know this titles list exists because I've seen it before. Trophy guide and roadmap. It's a good start. Um, is there a link here? Complete mission list, friendship mails, events, items, wines, battle items, and info cards. Titles, which name shall I use? Complete list of titles. I'll just start doing this while I load it up. Ooh, not bad. You got way stronger. Looks like the belt should be alright. I'm counting any harder. Alright, let's go. Hooray, friendship. We'll beat Kakashi, yay. Show to Mate. Am I right? Am I, am I right, my weebs? Alright, that's not as bad as I thought. There's 157 titles, and I think, uh, I want to say 70 of them are just from getting storm points, which you get at the end of every battle. So it happens, it, it happens pretty automatically. Um, so that's not that bad. One cool thing about this game is the way they do items. Um, my voice died a little bit there. Uh, the way they do items, you can, uh, uh, you can change your, like, battle setup. And, uh, you get, like, stronger versions. So this is the paper, paper bomb, which is one thing. Um, but you eventually get, like, a stronger paper bomb and then, like, an, like, a super strong paper bomb. And just using, like, those items can, like, fucking destroy, um, enemies. I think that's, like, the preferred way to, um... To grind out characters is that you just like equip super strong items, put handicap all the way up, and just fucking wreck them in like a couple seconds. Um, yeah, so that's not that many. I, there's 157 minus 80, so it's about 86 trophies, I think. So it's not as bad as I thought. <clears throat> a lot of them are just for getting a good amount. About 40 of them are for playing. Oh, there's 40 characters. <laughs> 40 of these titles are for playing as um, each character 30 times. Um, if you have a turbo controller, I'll oh, just use that. Easy. Alright. I am certainly fucking ready. Let's go. I'm not even gonna heal, because I believe in myself. <clears throat> you can tell it's gonna be a big battle because the they'll actually be animated during these cutscenes. Alright, I think this is uh the special fight. I think it is. I don't know if it that I think there's either three battles or two in the prologue. Oh yeah, so if it says you can't use ultimate jutsu, it means that the opponent is a boss. Ah, oh, this fucking music fucking bangs too. The boss music in this game is fantastic. Like, the Naruto music is pretty good most of the time. So I think they overuse some of the themes. But like, the fighting music in this game is fucking amazing. Yeah, so if you look at Kakashi's health bar, it's uh, very different from the, the one that I have. Because he basically has three health bars, um, r slash three health bars, and the uh, the third health bar is like his boss health bar. Hell yeah! So like you can do a good amount of damage for bosses like this. You can use your regular jutsu, but not your ultimate one. So that's pretty much what they recommend. It's just fucking slamming him with the. Uh, um, with supports. Yeah, so it's boss time. 
or it's it's the first half. I'm gonna give you a I'm gonna give you a trick about these, which I don't think they fixed. So it'll give you different inputs. The only ones that you can't really cheese are the uh, ones where you have to press a bunch of buttons at one, like you have to press X a bunch at once. They usually give you a good enough time or circle, but uh, if it's a an arrow one or if it's a mul it's a bolt button press one, if you mash the buttons, it doesn't like. If you press the wrong button, it doesn't go against you, so you can basically just mash them until you get the right one. Um, okay, I'm ready. Yeah, see, so I'm, I was just mashing buttons and I and I got it right. See, <laughs> yeah, I'm just just fucking mashing them. Just, I'm not doing. I'm just literally just rubbing my fingers all over the analog and the face buttons. I'm sorry, the uh, yeah, the D-pad and the face buttons. And it counts for this. Oh, I always forgot about L1. The other cool thing too is that if you lose this, you can just uh, you can just redo it. And you'll like know the button presses this time. I don't think it's a huge issue. Um, but it's just an exploit you can use. So this is, so he, he fought normally before, but this is where the boss stuff starts to come in. Alright, so he's using lightning attacks and we're in water, so probably don't stand in the water. Maybe that's why they're glowing. Okay, so I can still hit him. I think I need to use Sakura to knock him down. Oh shit, he recovered really well. Also, don't be afraid to use your like regular melee attacks. They're not bad. So yeah, do this and she knocks him right the fuck down. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, here we go. Your opponent's stunned. You better fucking charge up that jutsu. Or... What are you even doing at that point? Ah, oh, fuck. I thought I got him. Uh. Sakura's not here. Shit! Oh, so I can still use ranged attacks. That works. Oh, fuck! I don't usually let the fight go this long. While you're uh, waiting for him to get back down here, feel free to recharge some uh, health. Yeah, so you can only do so much damage before he, uh, he goes back into, like, cutscene boss mode. Pressing all the buttons. Pressing all the buttons. Getting perfect stars. So if you max out your stars, ah oh, fuck. So if you max out the stars, um, you'll get a special cutscene at the end of the battle. Also, this shit's just dope. Like the, f the fight choreography or the choreograph for this is really good. Like. I'm gonna say it, and people might not, might not agree with me. Some of the cutscenes in these fights are better than the fucking anime. Secret factor. Get lots of stars, and you'll unlock the secret factor. So they'll show you like uh, stills from the anime. See, that's fucking cool as fuck. That's why I like this game. There's a fight later on in this game, and I won't explain which one it is. Uh, it involves a character uh, not making it. Let's just say that, and uh, and uh, it fucking makes me cry because it's like the cutscenes and the fight and the music are so well done. It's like fuck. I think it's almost it's I think it's more impactful that fight than it is in the anime. I forgot how much I like this game. This game's really fucking good. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. So you also gain health back when you use the stars, so it can be fairly easy to get S rank on these. You just gotta make sure you get the stars and uh <laughs> make out series that. Uh just make sure you get the stars and your health. Doesn't go two down. Win with zero damage taking your fucking right, so goddamn warrior. The 
That was the prologue. I never would have believed you two had come this far. I'm surprised, frankly. You've surpassed you. Like that'll ever happen. I think they surpassed my expectations. You passed. In a little while, I'll have you take my missions as Team 7 again. Yeah. And then they missed out the part in the anime where he, like, talks about Sasuke and both of them become, like, morbidly depressed. Which I thought was a great scene. <sighs> also, they don't really address the fact that for most of the... For at least the first arc, um, they're more of, like, partners, like Naruto and Sakura. I guess the Kakashi's there, too, but they don't, I don't think they have a fourth. I guess Chio is, eventually, but still. But yeah, so you go through all the arcs of uh, Shippuden all the way up to the pain, pain fight. And it's pretty fucking cool. I think all of them are done justice. Um, which is super goddamn um, hard to do. Like, usually they'll, like, fail or they'll, like cut it close or cut it short. There's a couple ones where they throw in fights where it's just like, oh, we need to train to see if we're strong enough. Rawr. Where it's just like, alright. Because it feels a little bit like, um... It's kind of like the Mortal Kombat effect. Where even when characters who don't really need to fight, they start fighting over nothing. Just because you need a fight in, for the video game. This It has a little bit of that, especially um, during the Sasuke part. Um... But other than that, it's not that bad. It's pretty good. Some of them, I don't feel like any fights were like skipped over, which is cool. I think this one gives me luck too. I think I might need to do this in order to get the uh, the lucky pachinko thing. So that wears off after you check ingredients like I don't know, thirty times or something. Ingredients or um, trash. <laughs> I don't know how much longer I'm going to play, because I'm about half an hour, and um, it's not like I'm trying to go shorter, it's just more of, um, since I'm just trying a new video, or a new series, I was like, I don't know, give them a taste, see what people think. Maybe I'll do another one. Uh, maybe I won't. I don't know. I will say, I do enjoy this game, but, uh, and I think it makes, makes for good um, content, but... I'm not like, I'm not gonna like, I don't have the urge to play it in my downtime like I do with Ninja Storm 1. Mostly for Ninja Storm 1's because A, it's an easy platinum so it's just kind of like bang that out. And B, because um, I haven't played it in like 10 years. This one I played, I think as, I literally played it last summer to get the platinum so. It's still a little fresh in my mind. And I'm decent at these games. I think, uh, I, don't, I don't think I'd say above average. Maybe like a tiny smidgen above average, where it's like, I know the best way to produce combos and stuff like that. Um, and I'm good with a few characters, but I'm not like, that's why I don't like playing online. Because um, I get fucking mollywopped by people who are much better at this game than I am. So I might have to cheat. I had to cheat last time. <laughs> Basically I just used, uh... so the way I cheated the matchmaking system was I, uh, I have because I have two PS3s. One is my like actual one that I use for PS3s or for PS3 games, and one is the my backwards pedal one I use for um, uh, I use for my brain just stopped for PS2 games. Um, and when I uh, <laughs> so what I would do is I would just like play it because PS3 online plays free. I would just sign in with like a dummy account for on one of the PS3s or on my. Uh, and then I would sign up with my real accounts. And I would just like start online matches at the same time. And most of the time get matched up with myself. There are a few times where I matched up with people. And and I just tried to fight them because I still need to lose for the titles too. So I was like, whatever. And um It's like it was kind of weird to me how many different people I matched up with, considering I thought the game would be dead. <sighs> I wish it would just play 50 matches, not win them. It's like, I don't want to go against people who play fighting games. You know how fucking intense these people are? Goddamn tryhards. He says while playing a fighting game. I forget when they start unlocking like the side quest stuff. I don't think it's at the end of the game. We made it through Kashi's test. Alright, you pass. Hooray, any missions? What are you talking about? We just finished, finished the test. Yeah, another mission. Can't still. I don't know where you get your stamina. Well, it's going, going to be eager. You mean... Can't give you a legit mi mission. I'll give it for a few simple tasks. Perfect, no problem. I'll take it. Alright, choose your mission. 
Advice session, licensing work. A certain person is at wit's end because he can't meet his beloved. He's waiting for you outside the shop. Ah, uh, yes. So there's, I think, 40 subquests in this game? Maybe 40? Um, I don't know. There's, there's a few of them. Maybe 30? It's enough where it doesn't feel like it's a waste. Like, if there's only 10 side missions, just don't fucking give me a side mission tab. Um, but if there's, like, 300 of them, then I'm not, they're not gonna feel special. So it's a pretty decent mix. There's, like, a, there's a few here and there. Give me that fucking lucky pachinko ball so I can fuck get that title and stop fucking stressing about it. It's not that hard to run around in circles and get this, but it's just, like, I'd rather get it sooner than later. Also, I gotta go pray at that fucking thing again. I don't remember if you need the blessing or if it just helps. Oh, I'm too anal about this stuff. I mean, the items I'm picking up, I can just sell for money later. So it's not like it's not like it's useless. It's just maybe not my highest priority at the moment. I don't know what the game to play next. I think I want to play either Enter the Gungeon or Psychonauts. Um, I've actually never played Psychonauts, and I think that'd be a cool one to start. Enter the Gungeon, I've played a lot, and I'm not very good at it, but I want to be better at it. <laughs> um, I think it's a pretty fun game to watch, though. Thank you, Mr. Statue. I didn't know there was religion in Naruto, but that's cool. Oh, I'm, I fucking... I forgot to talk about this. I met... Uh, do I want to talk about this now? I'll give a hint of it now, and then I'll talk about it more in like a Digimon video. I met um, I met someone who works for cybersecurity. So basically, he's paid to hack, like to break systems and be like, okay, we need to fix this part. And um, he just spent like three weeks in Russia because like he had an assignment there to like help with something. And I'm just like, holy shit! It was so funny. Um, him talking about like you know he was just glad to be back in America. Uh, confirm request, confirm event. Yes, hey, uh, what are you doing here? Huh, me? No, no, I mean, I haven't done yet. I've got. Liar, I saw you near the Leaf Highway, glaring angrily around. So much murder in your eyes. I decided not to go see my girlfriend in the Sand Village. Hey, don't blame your, blame your nerves, don't blame me. What? Uh, was there any other harm caused by this guy? You know, violence or something? Uh, not violence, he had a huge aura, it was kind of scary. Uh, sucker, are you telling me too? No, you, you never have a huge aura of murder in your eyes. You're usually just glazed over like an idiot. Fucking wrecked. Uh, kidding, kidding. We've been together from the moment we returned to the village, haven't we? So I know you didn't have time to do anything. Oh. Well, anyway, we just need to head, head over and take a look. We can't tell anything without checking it out. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is, but do your best. I just want to meet up with my girlfriend as soon as I can. Okay, first things first. Let's make our way to Leaf Highway. Actually, I think this starts the Cursed Doll. Um side quest so, and I think what it is is that it's it's interesting the way they they frame it makes it seem more interesting than it is basically what you do is you fight every playable character in the game um, is what it ends up being um, but they frame it as like a collectible so it's like like once we beat Naruto then we're done we beat Naruto um, and then you know we'll be like okay so this curse doll is gone and sometimes multiple will appear together so, yeah. Naruto, no, something's different. Yeah, it's his color, because he's a fucking player too. Come on, who is this? Just like a man said, I can sense a strange aura of danger. Yeah, he's looking for a fight. Now listen, huh? Here you come, Sakura. So yeah, when you're out and about, and not in like actual story missions, you can change, um... Why, you can't use Awakening? Are you fucking kidding me? Uh, you can change your supports, and you can change uh, who comes with you. It doesn't come in handy a lot. It comes in handy sometimes, but uh, it's still interesting an interest an interesting mechanic. Usually, I'll rock some of the uh, some of the other like of Naruto's generation. Kakashi's also good to bring along. I don't remember if they have the aura. Yeah, they do when you fight them. Well, good start. I need better. Uh, I need better items. I usually like to go with. Uh, the defense breaking tag, because uh, it's pretty helpful for uh, for breaking defense. Oh, you can time that better, and I and I didn't do it, and it bothers me. I forget what the throw button is. 
Nope, that's not it. Oh, fuck. I looked at the wrong Naruto. So much for S rank. Okay. Sakura, help me. So I think they might be able to block that, but a lot of times they don't. And I think ultimate jutsus tend to break through normal combos and jutsus, so if you catch someone trying to do one, you'll usually have priority. Naruto's ultimate jutsus aren't that hard to hit with. Um, there are some who... Um, yeah, that was... Oh, still got nice rank. Nice. There are some who are pretty hard to hit with. Um, i trying to think... Like, Naruto runs in a straight line. I think Kakashi's... One of Kakashi's just tracks the enemy, which is nice. There's a couple that just, like, land right on the enemy, which I appreciate. And then, um... I think Sakura's might be hard to do. I think she just, like, jumps up. So the range isn't great. Um... There's a couple different ones here and there. But I appreciate that they're not just like, Okay, I activated it, now I win. Okay... I want to see what the other mission is, too. Sometimes it makes you do this stuff in the middle, but I kind of appreciate it. It breaks up the uh, gameplay a little bit. And the uh, writing for the missions isn't bad. Because there's only like so many missions, it's not like, Hey, do this so I can go over there. It's like, and usually there's like a reason, and you are. Oh, here you are, mister. Can I see what you're holding? My hand? The strange doll we just picked up? Ho oh, ho. Oh. Oh, oh. Yes, this is exactly what I've been looking for. Long to you, this thing has caused me a lot of trouble. Really? I'm sorry. Um, just what is this thing? It's a doll that my friend made. It contains a jutsu that sucks out chakra and molds into human form. Human form? That's quite a jutsu. My friend was using that jutsu to make things that could labor indefinitely. However, it ended, ended in fa failure. Now it simply sucks chakra from people around you. You can call the doll cursed. Not really? Anyway, it seems to have caused some trouble for you. I will take the responsibility of destroying it. Well then, we'll leave the rest to you. you have the mysterious doll. I will take care of it. Okay, that's the end of this doll business. Let's go re report back to the man who requested the mission. How fucking gullible are these two? Oh, yeah, alright. I mean, if you want to hand over the doll, or if you want to take the doll, that's fine, I guess. What the hell is wrong with them? Also, like I said, it's just a it's just a side quest where you fight, like, copies of different, um, like, playable characters. And they just kind of dressed it up in a different way. Oh, you're back. I get so nervous when you see my face. How about the case? We cleared it so you can relax. Right in front of me is uh, this guy is a fake. who looks. Uh, this guy is just a fake. who looks the same. Don't worry. It's like a fake. I'm the real one. Oh yeah. In that case, I can go to the Hidden Sand Village, right? Yes. Go meet your girlfriend anytime. Oh, that's great. All right. I'm gonna go there immediately. Th thanks. He tossed that. Thanks. He tossed at the end. Wasn't meant for me, was it? And you called me a fake. I figured a guy like him wouldn't understand even if he explained it. Hey, be a man and stop worrying over the details. Uh, Sakura, that is toxic masculinity, and I won't accept it in my fucking Naruto game. <sighs> so you get different ingredients for, for completing missions. And I believe, um... That's cool, they let you return right back. I believe... You have to unlock separate ing or certain ingredients. Looks like there's some ingredient for it. Um... You have to use different ingredients to create different items. Like, uh, other paper bomb tags and stuff like that. Grimace, they finished off the mission. <clears throat> Next is... Hmm. Trading licenses have been updated. Yeah, they're going to show me the different stores. Okay. Okay. I don't think there's a battle in this one. Actually, if there is, I think it's against Ten Ten, of all people. There's like a weird... Um, that might be a different mission. Where it's like, some, there's some guy like making a promotion. He's like, I need ninjas to fight. And Tenten's like, I signed up because, I don't know. Because I'm irrelevant to the anime. So I thought I'd try and be relevant in the game. Okay. Maybe easy mission for me now. You're not wrong. So the things they say usually pertain to the mission. So it gives you like a general idea of what you're supposed to be doing. Which is cool. I appreciate that as well. Again, it's not like, I don't want my hand held. But I like, like if I stopped playing the game... Be, trying to remember what I was actually doing and not feeling hopeless, so I like that about the game. Oh, I, I ran right by it. I thought it was going to have me hook around first. Oh, do I have to fucking talk to Tsunade? I'm sorry, uh, Shizune? That's pointless. She was right there. She should have been part of the fucking conversation. Game's awful. Zero out of ten. Not for real, that's annoying. 
Like, she's right there, just fucking... I guess she's who I have to accept it from, but still, they could have done it differently. Sure, uh, two of you to go to the um, errand of the shop to the village, okay. Training license, yep, so... What a garbage... What a garbage way of just being... Like, not a garbage, but like, what a convoluted way of being like, Go visit the shop so you know where to shop in the game. I get it, but also, like, come on. For a game with as much death in this as this one, you'd think they'd not hold my hands like I was a toddler. I'm kidding, that's not really that much hand holding. If they're gonna do it, I guess that's a better way to do it than just be like, I should go check out the shops. I don't like that every shop has the same shopkeeper and the same shopkeeper uh, voice acting. It's just slightly odd. So yeah, this tells you what you need uh, to make each one. I'm not a huge fan of these. The food pills aren't bad because they increase your attack, so you can use that fairly well. Uh, temporary weakens the enemy's guard. Exhaustion tag makes their power less. Defense breaking tag is the OG. But it's going to be tough to get that. I need more items. Sluggish tag's not bad. Poison tag's not bad either. Um, the lethal poison tag is a lot better. Sleep tag's not bad either, because then you, you get like a free hit on them, because they're basically stunned for a bit. Uh, the problem with tags is that they can, if they block, when you throw a tag at them, it just like, just doesn't count. So, you need to, um, need to time it fairly well. Am I just supposed to like open up every shop? Is that the general gist? I don't know what else is, I think this is a shop. General Sword Bandai. Ha, get it? Did you get it? Because it's done by Bandai Namco. Um, so this is the Ninja Info cards. This is him explaining them. It's not really important. The next door is... I believe it's sort of hidden. Um, it's, on, it's in the one before the ramen shop, yeah. I believe it's down this creepy ass alleyway. Yeah, there's something here. Oh yeah, there's papers too. I know you can just move them for no reason. Cool. Um, I think it's this shop that clearly sells porn, and there are children playing outside it. Card shop Nin Nin. Cards. Oh, I'm sorry. What was he talking about? Oh, so the first guy that I just talked to was the. Uh, was the one you buy cutscenes from. This one is the one you buy, um, um, ninja info cards from. What else do I need to buy? Uh, general store, card store. What the fuck is left? Confirm event. Oh my god, don't give me a tutorial for each fucking. Ugh. Uh, it says every store. <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? Um, oh, here we go. This is actual helpful. Barbecue, that's right. So this is the... There's a bunch of different stores that sell different foods. So like some will boost your attacks, some will boost your uh, defense, etc. They're like little boosts you can buy from the store. Um, and you can... I think it also heals health sometimes too, but... I'm not particularly... I don't use them that much. I don't think the game's hard enough to warrant using like boosts. Um, I think towards the end it does, because the difficulty does ramp up, but... It's not like that much. I'm supposed to just go back now? What was... What am I doing here? Uh, report to Shiz Shizune. Alright, let's do it. Mission success. Oh, Donut County. Finished uh, rendering. That's cool. Okay. Um, still gonna pick up garbage. One day I'll get that lucky fucking pachinko ball or the fuck it's called. I'll be like, yes, thank you. I guess the titles aren't that. No, no, they are. 40 characters that you have to play 30 times each is kind of garbage, so. Good work, Sakura. Where are we going now? Looks tough. Your mission's complete. Nice work. Got it. Thanks. trying to get through this because um, there's a decent um, I think it's it might be the first mission in the arc and it's pretty good so I'd like to get to that point 
Alright. What else you got? Oh, I'm hungry. I gotta go eat... I gotta go eat ramen with my dad slash brother. I didn't like... I don't know. I think one of my biggest complaints about the anime in general, and the manga in general, um, is that Iruka Sensei, they eventually said, like, he's like a brother to me. It's like, not really. I mean, he's definitely a father figure. And it's just like, it's just weird that they call him like a brother. Hey, real cutscene. Look at this. Does he even have money? Because he hasn't done any missions. That's how they get their income, right? Oh, the Shikamaru. Hey, look at these two. Very clearly in love. It's beautiful. It's one of the only, like, actual couples in the series. Oh yeah, this is when they mention that Naruto's not, um... That he's still a Genin, and it's just a worthless plot point and never ends up affecting the series at all. Like, they... It's just... It literally does nothing, like... There wasn't even, like, a couple episodes where he just, like, destroys the Chunin exam because he's just so overpowered, which I wanted to see. It's Aruka. It's his brother, Dad. <clears throat> I'm skipping right through this. Chapter 1. Rescue the Kazakage. Well, fucking spoil it right in the goddamn title. So they do kind of condense a little bit. I think this happened before he ran. I don't actually. I don't remember the scene. It's been some time. Let's get to it. I think there's a cutscene where he eats ramen, yep. And then it should move on right into the next fight, I think. He's like, man, I saw so many things while I was out exploring and adventuring and stuff. It was great. I kind of wish they wouldn't give me the uh, prompts here. They would just talk on their own. <laughs> so, um, when, here's a funny story, when my friend Cullen was first pitching Naruto to me, uh, or I think I had, like, just started watching it, and he was, like, way ahead of me, because he was, he watched it in Japanese, and I'd watched it in English, um, he told me that, or, he told me that, um, Gara becomes, like, the, uh, he becomes the Kaze Kage, and I said, what's that? And he says, it's like the Hokage, but, like, not as important. Or, like, the Hokage, but, like, who works under him. And I remember being really... Con and I was like, oh, okay. And then I didn't find out until much, 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 much later that, uh, he... <laughs> that they're basically the equals, and he's not below him. And I just constantly remind Cullen that he lied to my face. I want to see who the theater voice actor is. Like, I think it looks up recently. I'm pretty sure it's the same dude who voices um, Majima. Katsuhiko Kawamoto? Is that him? Um, that doesn't sound right. Andra 
Japanese voice actor. He just says Yuri. Uh, let's. Who is this? Come on. Not Naruto. Data or a Japanese voice actor. Not Roger Craig Smith. Don't lie to me. Um, behind the voice actors, uh, we have Roger Craig Smith, which is in English. You are just lying to me. Um, <coughs> this can't be the person. Can't be the person. There's no way. It says Katsuhiko Kawamoto. And it lists pretty much only Deirdre as their uh, their list. When did I see Majima? Fuck Majima's voice actor. Voice him. I swear it happened. Majima voice actor. What? Majima. Goro voice actor. Japanese. Hideneki Ugaki. That's who I was thinking of. I definitely thought he voiced Deirdre, but I, I guess I got it wrong. Interesting. I must be thinking someone else. I might have been Troy Baker. No, or someone. Whoever his English voice actor. Oh no, hang on. I think it was the English voice actor who surprised me. Roger Craig Smith. Yeah, that's that's who I was looking up because I think he voices Luxord in uh, in Kingdom Hearts, <clears throat> and he also voices uh, another character that I've seen recently and I can't remember. That cloak. You're one of the Akatsuki, aren't you? So the operation failed. Well, at least I don't have to search for you anymore. You. All right, let's hurry up and settle this. Hmm? I will protect this village. Hehe. <laughs> so this fight fucking blows. Uh, Datara, there are like three range characters in this uh, series, and Datara is one of them. And he's a fucking cunt to face off against. And his like special mode is even harder, especially since Gara can't do shit. No ultimate jutsu, no awakening. I will say, the animation in this fight is fucking awesome, though. Alright, so... You got regular jutsus that you can use. Um, and then you can try and get close to him, but it doesn't really work. Because he flies. You can do... I recommend just throwing... Um, throwing shit at him. That'll usually knock him off his perch. Oh, he fucked up. Yeah, he'll fly away too like an asshole. There's fuck all I can do. Get back here. Come on. Nobody has time for this. I like that he can his range attacks don't miss me. I think he has to be over the field for this to work. There we go. He'll be stunned after this too, so I get a chance to yeah, it does a little bit of damage. A combo does more. Ugh, it's so fucking frustrating. I think this might be the harder part, because he just doesn't sit still. Oh my god, he's so annoying. Ugh. Nope. Miss. Oh, so it does damage, but again, until he's over the field, he's not gonna... Ugh. He's not going to fall down. Like that. I wish there was more I could do. Maybe if I do it from the side. What the fuck? Come on. That was supposed to be like his regular combo and it did not work. Oh god, it's so slow. I guess I could just... No, I don't have like a combo of like throwing shit. It just sort of happens. There's no, like, easy way to get him down, either. Like, it just... He just flies around like a dickhead. Uh, I don't want to be here. Just slowly taking off my health. I don't remember him being this bad, either. I feel like he's worse. There's just nothing I can do.
Just, just fucking take it, I guess. Ah, oh, fuck off. Please come down. I don't have time for your shenanigans anymore. If he gets back up at his fucking bird. I think it's because he does it when he gets knocked down, and I'm not doing enough damage when he's, like, up on his feet. Like I said, this fight sucks. Okay, yeah, that works. Make sure I do it right this time. Yeah, this is the way to do the most damage. If you look at the combo, it does way more damage. You can usually hit them while they're on the ground, too. Just kept, I always forget about that. I'm an honorable man, I don't hit people when they're on the ground. Oh, come on. I really wasn't expecting that. Good. Fucking fuck him up. Get him. Oh my god, I hate it. <laughs> I should just stand still so he like dive bombs me. He's almost killed me already. I'm just like, I can't win this. It's too broken. Regular deer to row, like the the non Oh, okay, I guess. Alright. I slightly know how to do it better now. Who the fuck keeps messaging me? What is happening? I'm getting Snapchats. Okay. This motherfucker gets up. I'm gonna smack the shit out of him. Okay. Like, do I just dodge? I forget. I always forget I can do this. So if you hold down circle, you can just, like, dodge around the area. Gar is a little slower than most, but you can absolutely still do this. I actually forgot this is an option. This is usually how I fight. I just dodge, 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 dodge. Doesn't make it go faster, but at least I'm not taking damage. Get down here, you bastard. This is just like the only thing I can do to do like a bunch of damage. Usually you can throw, uh, I think it's because he's a boss, usually you can throw stuff at people when they're on the ground, but it doesn't seem to be working for him. Like, usually you can just, like, chuck paper bombs at, um, opponents that are down, and it's, like, a really easy way to, to get rid of them. What is the jutsu? Doesn't work. Can I do this while he's just flying around, actually? No, it has to, it's got a range on it, which makes sense. Come on. Nothing I can do here. I took so much damage from that, too. You can get a dive bomb me. Rat bastard. Please tell me we're almost done with this section. Ah, uh, how oh, we are, okay. Uh. So this is the section where it's like you usually press the arrows a bunch. Or as I like to call it, easy points. Look at this fluid animation. Shit looks amazing. Uh. Of course he's not dead, that'd be too easy. And then Gara, the goddamn Super Saiyan over here. Press circle or square to attack, press triangle. Right, so special moves. So square is the, uh, is the, is the, uh, oh my god, square is the, um, the ranged attack. Can't seem to charge up this attack. 
I mean, that works. Get fucking wrecked. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't even know why I'm matching. Was that to do damage? Usually the rapid fire ones are the way to go. This was the uh this is the classic how the only way the villain can win. Which is uh they threaten the uh they threaten civilians, which is the only way the uh the the hero can stop them is to exert all their energy to protect other people. That's how they get away with saying, like, this is how Gara would lose a deer, because Gara, Gara would clearly kick his ass. Good thing there's, uh, literally no other ninja in this village that could have, you know, aided Gara. That time Gara stole his entire life goal from uh, Naruto. I love when he uses the uh, little tendrils. You can see a bit of the bit of the tailed beast come out. I can make it. I like that he used a hyper beam from sand somehow. Makes no sense. I mean, he very clearly just won, but they're going to try and tell you no, he lost. At least it was a good uh, reward. Goddamn right, 54 out of 54. What's interesting is that I got 54 to 54. The last one was 34 total, but required more stars. This one didn't require as many stars, stars but gave you a lot more opportunity. Neato. Alright, well, when it gives me an opportunity to save, I'll wrap this up. Uh, might be a while, because we're elsewhere right now. Forget how he cheats him here. Is it over then? I'd say not. He tricks him, because he put clay in his gourd, which exploded him from inside out. It's pretty close. He took that and he's still in the end. The victory is mine. So he's definitely dead. That's what just happened there. And that took some doing, makes some detonating clay and sand in the gourd. Doesn't give me any openings either. You're as tough as I figured, Kazakage. Which is to say, you're a very great opponent, but in order to kick off the plot, you have to lose here. Also, a typical trope of uh, having a new villain come in and defeat someone or having a new villain come and defeat an old villain because that's how you can gauge the strength where it's like wow if you could beat him he was the villain of a last of a couple arcs ago so clearly this new guy must be strong it's cheating that's yeah. well, not cheating it's a it's a trope but it's not cheating is what i meant to say it's a common writing device you'll notice it all the time once you know about it good you're both here team seven about the strength next mission hmm. Sorry, Nerd, there's something on your mind. I never thought Gara would become Kazakage. I'm a bit frustrated, a bit happy. You're happy too? Well, if he's Kazakage, it means that everyone's acknowledged him, right? He's probably had a really tough time, but Gara did. He worked hard and became Kazakage. 
If you didn't leave to go fucking follow a pervert, you could have been a Hokage by now. You better do the same. You can't let Gara outdo you in the hard work department. Your hard work and become a Hokage. That's one thing you, that hasn't changed at all. Let's hurry up and get started. First, let's go see that fifth Hokage and get an mission. Alright. Gotcha. JK, we're gonna save. And that'll be the end of this one. It's gonna let me leave the village partially, just so I can get to that. There it is. Um, let's re up this. <laughs> I'm neurotic about it. Oh, look at this. Story record 01. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like more of this, let me know. Uh, if you don't, also let me know. Really, just let me know anything. I'm lonely and I miss comments. Nobody ever comments anymore. It makes me sad. Um, so, thank you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, just doing the quick Patreon announcements for February. Um, once again, Ertrev with a dollar, Sean with a dollar, um, Stuff with Scoutfly, another dollar. Thank you again, Justin. Uh, and then two dollars, we got Carlos. And then new this month, new, brand fucking new, Louisa. Thank you, Louisa. Uh, Azure still remains the only $3 one. Uh, Maz, Happy, and uh, Norm P. I, I, it's neither Norm... I still don't know how to pronounce your name, but please let me know. Uh, both with the... All, all three with the $5. Eniac with the 10 Connor Savarwal with the 10 And the man, the myth, legend, John Barnett with the $15. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> thank you guys again this month. Uh, I think it's been really cool doing the early videos and stuff. If you don't forget, if you are sub to me on Patreon, join the Discord and then link your Discord with your Patreon and then go on Patreon, link your D Patreon with your Discord. So on both websites. Uh, and then you gain access to the special Patreon sub tab. Get all of my videos as soon as I edit them and as soon as I just fucking shove them right out there. Um, you'll see them much earlier. Like right down, there's a couple um, extra Pokemon videos, a couple extra Digimon videos. This one's up to like. Digimon's up to 10. Pokemon, I think it's caught up, but I plan to record a bunch tonight. Um, and then there's other ones too, uh, like Metal Gear Solid 5 is right now. I don't know when I'm going to release these. So that you might be watching this and being like, this is old, Nick. I mean, we already have that. Why would I sub to you on Patreon? The other reason, just cool. Um, and then again, you know, sometimes I'll use your money well. <laughs> sometimes I'll buy chocolate because it was on sale. So thank you guys. I'm kidding. Um, this was actually given to me. Um, but, um, yeah, thank you guys. Uh, literally, Patreon money came at the best possible time. I had to pay off my, um, my credit card bill, my rent, and my car, ins car insurance at pretty much the beginning of the month. And I've been broke for like a week, like $12 in my account. And then the Patreon came through, helped me get to the next payday. It was like, it's like 50 bucks or so. So thank you guys. It really does make a difference. I, it's dumb, and I hate, you know, asking for money. But here I am, um, at least trying to give back for, for those who do. So thank you guys. I appreciate the support. You're all fantastic. And I look forward to seeing you next month. Please enjoy the videos, comment if you liked it, and so on. I'll see you next time. Oh, it's dark chocolate. That's all right.